What is up guys, Kingpan480 here, and today we're opening the Bang Dream Trial Deck. Now, I watched the anime a little bit, so I'm familiar with some of the characters here. Actually, I know who they are, I just forget their names. I have a hard time remembering them, even though I'm on like, what, seven episodes in already? I don't know. Ah, why is there always tape on these things? Okay, here we go. No, no, there's tape on this one too. Alright. Let's see here. Sharpening this here. So what I know is uh, this is a trial deck plus, which means there's plus more stuff, I guess. I don't know, I didn't really look into it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this tape's not too bad. We got it. We got it good. Alright. So that's what we got in here. We got the playbook. Like you always do. And then the little play mat. Teach you where to put the cards and whatnot. Let's slide this open. And uh, Alright. First card here. Poppin' Party Kasumi Toyama. During your turn, if the number of music of other music characters you have is for more card gets 5,000 power in the following ability during this card's battery opponent cannot play events and backup from hand nice when this card is placed on stage from hand with a top card to your deck if this card is a music if that card is a music character you may deal one damage to your opponent damage may be cancelled all right that's pretty good not too bad here we got a SR poppin party Saya Yamabuki Kind of see the hollow while you're shining this a little bit. All of your other characters get 5,000 power. This ability activates to once per turn when using uh, was that activate? Yeah, activate. Choose one of your other characters. No, choose one of your characters. So this one included. And that character gets 500 power to end of turn. Okay, only activates one per turn. Okay, all right. It's pretty, pretty nice. Star Beat Kasumi Toyama. This ability activates up to two times per turn when another of your music characters is placed on stage from your hand. You may put the top card deck into your waiting room. If that character is a music character, that gains 3,000 power. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Two of those. Premonition of a beginning Kasumi Toyama. 1 0. When this card's battle point becomes reversed, if a card named Let's Pop in Parties in Climax area, you may choose a character in your waiting room and turn to your hand. Oh, that's pretty good. Now that's pretty good. And you get four of these. Okay. Well, that's pretty much your level one climax call you're going to be doing for this deck. Self introduction Kasumi, zero, 00. Choose a character in waiting room, return it to hand, cost of one, and put a climax from your hand to your waiting room. So it has to be a climax. Okay. If you pay one, rest this card, you will four cards from the top of your deck, put it into your waiting room for your kind of draw a brainstorm. Yeah, typical brainstorm. Four of those. I ain't complaining. Starbeat Te Hanazono. When this card becomes reversed in battle, you may pay one, put this card in your clock. If you do look at the two cards on the top of your deck, choose the one card from among them, put it in your hand, put the rest in your waiting room. Um Oh, it's when this card gets reversed. Okay, that's a little better. I thought I had to reverse your opponent. Because with 1,000 power, that ain't going to happen too often. That's not going to... So, But it's when it gets reversed, so... That's actually not bad. Tay shows no interest. If another card named Self-Introduction Kasumi is in your backstage, this card gets 2,000 power. Was that... Did we go... Did we pass that one? I think we did. Yeah, it's this one. So it's this one. That If this card is in your backstage... This card gets 2,000 power. And then it has hand on core. Put a character from hand into your waiting room. 1 1, 6,000. Alright, it's pretty, it's pretty average. Here's the vanilla. So I guess even in trial deck pluses, you still get vanilla cards. Nervous self introduction, Rumi. Not much to say. Vanilla. Two of these. Star beat, Rumi. Ishi Gome. At the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you move this card to the opposite position of your center stage. 
So it's a run, a free one at that. Two thousand power though. I guess that's the Choco Cornet. That's got to be a new trait. No one else has that trait. You got two of those. A <laughs> bread trait. Does anyone else have a bread trait in Y shorts? I don't know. I don't think so. Starbeat Saya Yamabuki. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, if the number of other music characters is four or more, you may put the top card of your deck into your stock. That's pretty worth. And has Encore. Pretty music character from your hand to your waiting room. 2-2, two, two, but it does have two soul though. But I never do like paying two st stock for a card on level two. Well, technically it's actually one since if you do have four more, you put a stock, a card from your deck to your stock. So it's kind of a cost of one actually. That's a little better. It's a little better. Daughter of a bakery, Saya. Zero zero. All of your other characters named Nervous Self Introduction Remy get a thousand power and bonds with that Nervous Self Introduction Remy. Pay one. Oh, so it bonds with the vanilla and then it gives that vanilla a thousand power. Okay. Why not? It's a trial deck. Sure. Starbeat Arisa Ichigaya with the Bonsai trait. That's new. That's gotta be new. Standard level one 1500 backup. Put this card in hatch. Your waiting room. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Nothing new there. Two of those. Raise both hands, Arissa. This card cannot side attack. So this is your beater. Cost zero, level zero, 3500 power, but cannot side attack. A level one zero, that's, I guess. That's a little kind of suckish, but it's fine. My favorite item level three, cost of two. That's a huge wall of text. You can put up to five cards with the same card name as this card in your deck. Well then, choose one of your characters and that character gets the following ability until end of turn. When this card attacks, if you have if you have cards named Poppin Party Kasuma Toyama, Poppin Party Tei Hanazono, Poppin Party Rimi Ushi Gome, Poppin Party Saya Yamabuki, and Poppin Party Narisa Ichigai. So every Poppin Party card in this trial deck. Deal 5 damage to your opponent, this card gets 5,000 points in the turn. 5 damage to your opponent, this damage may be cancelled. Yes. Yes and yes. Yes. Oh, the drums. Got the keyboard, yeah. It's the same, yeah, it's the same thing. So you get, so I'm guessing there's one for each of their instruments. I got the keyboard and the drums. All right, so if you want to just be like, yeah, I don't feel like doing five damage this turn. Just put down that card and bam, five damage that turn. Let's pop in part. Here's the climax. The climax is with, uh, I believe it was a level one climax combo. Where you get to salvage a character. Where is it at? Nope, not you. Where is this one? If a card name lets pawn parts of climax, yeah, okay, yeah. So yeah, this is the climax for that. All you could do is one thousand power and one soul. Better give me four of these. Indeed we did. Indeed we did get four. And then we get racing heart heart racing. All your characters get plus two soul. So in case that uh that five damage you did was not good enough, now you can do even more damage. Damage on damage. I heard you like damage, so we gave you more damage. No, actually, hold on. And they give us another climax. Star B. Our character gets for one thousand power, one soul with the buck trigger. So they give us three different climaxes, but they only give us one climax combo card. So I guess these other two are just preference. Do you want to do more damage, or do you want to draw a card or get one thousand power and soul? I like doing damage. So let's do damage. Oh, here's the XRs. I guess this is the why the trail deck plus is a plus. I got Poppin Party Kasuma Toyama. That's the this one here. It's the SR version. Uh, see, a little shininess going on there. And the XR version. Nice. Freaking sweet. Oh, here's another level three. 
Pop in party Te Hanazano and his card is placed in the free hand. You put the top card to clock into your waiting room. So it heals. When the clown is playing your clown center, it gets 15% of the turn. And it gets big. Not that big. But big ish, I guess. So this is your healer of the deck. Heals are always nice. They might just save you a turn or two. Pop in party Rimi Ushigome. When this card becomes reversed, this card's better opponent is level 1 or lower, you may reverse it. Oh, it's a level 1 bomber. Nice. Wait, hold on. Oh, I forgot to mention. Two different arts here. I like this one better. But that's just me. Does this one have two different arts? No, it doesn't. Why? Oh, wait. It does. They give me four of these. Nice. I like this one better. And then we get Poppin' Party Saya. I think this is the exact same one as that SR that we got. Yes, it is. I like the SR better. And Poppin' Party Arisa Gaia. Level 2, cost 1. Oh, this is assist. All of your characters from this card get plus x power x is equal to 500 multiplied by that card's level good rest this card just when your character and that character gets a thousand power to that turn so it's literally just to pump up your characters literally that's it and there's a different art oh they actually have different flavor text too good day my name is arisa ichigaya first year student at hanasakigawa girls high hobbies included net cert reading news articles and bonsai i play the keyboard in the band She's lying. She's lying. Don't believe her. It's all a lie. Well, that was the trial deck plus. And honestly, it's not too bad. Actually, kind of pretty good. If you get like two of these trial decks, you can pretty make a decent deck by putting the cards together. Because they give you two ofs at least. There's not, that's not a single one of in here. So you can, yeah, you can make a deck if you buy it. Two of these, pretty decent one, good one at that. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, let me know who's your favorite pop and party bang dream character. And until next time, peace out.